I ain't do that again. I almost dropped it. <laughs> Did you see the panic in my face? <laughs> Hi, I'm Don Burrell, chef partner of Late August in Houston, Texas, and welcome to making the most of your meals. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make coconut braised short rib that's gonna be super tender and delicious and aromatic. And then we're gonna maximize our efforts by taking that same beef and some of the components of that and make a new dish, shito fried rice with short rib really exciting way to use our leftover ingredients. Two for one. <laughs> I love braised beef. What makes this beef dish great is the culmination of flavors through all the aromatics that I use. The short rib cut is beautiful. The marbling melts so deliciously. I'm utilizing ingredients that are cross-cultural. And I love like the mixture of techniques and flavors that I was able to come up with with this dish. And I really think that you'll love them as well. Now, I love short rib. It is so versatile. They're also the most delicious cut, I feel. I'm gonna start by just seasoning well with salt and pepper. What we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, blanch these short ribs slightly. It promotes a cleaner finishing sauce. Just a little bit of onion to give it some flavor. A piece or two of garlic, some more salt and pepper, and one Thai chili, and a little fish sauce. All right. So I'm just gonna let that just come up to a simmer. Just simmer just for a couple of minutes until the beef is slightly brown. While this is blanching, I'm gonna uh, turn on this pot and just create our braising liquid for our protein. The coconut milk, the water, all of our aromatics. I'm gonna start with our shallots, some onions, green onions, some ginger, some lime leaf, heavy pinches of salt and pepper cut a bowl of, of garlic and add that to the pot as well. Lastly, I'm just gonna cut this uh, lemongrass down to get all the flavor out of it. Then some Thai chilies that I'm going to split lengthwise. Palm sugar and some cane vinegar. Come to a simmer. Let's check out the short ribs. Good to go for the braising liquid. Tuck them right down in there. Then we're gonna put the whole thing in the, in the oven. It will braise for about an hour and a half. That was heavy, guys. The coconut milk is thickening. It still has about 30 more minutes. I'm gonna add the fish sauce at this stage. Now I'm gonna put it back in the oven and allow it to finish with the lid off so that the sauce will thicken. And now we wait. Looks great. Yeah, the sauce is really starting to thicken. We're just gonna sear it on one side to get really nice caramelization on it. What makes the second dish, the shito fried rice and braised short rib, interesting is because the dish that I created to kind of draw uh, a line of intersection between Asian and African culture. All right, so I'm gonna start by um, kind of just shred it, remove any like connective tissue that was holding a bone, for example. I have going is my wok. It's heated to super high, as high as it can go. My eggs is nice and combined. I'm gonna start with a good amount of coconut oil, ginger, the garlic, the shallots. Now I'm going to add the beef. You can either push things to the side or take them out. It's totally up to you. Next, I'm going to add my eggs. You wanna get these cooked all the way through before you add your next ingredients. Next, I'm going to go in with a little bit of oil. I'm gonna throw in the carrots, followed by the cabbage. All right, now I'm gonna just bring it all together. The seasoning liquid, fish sauce, sweet soy, and white soy. So now that the shito is incorporated, I'm gonna add basil, chopped cilantro, green onion tops. I'm gonna give this a stir. Lastly, we're gonna add some of that delicious coconut broth from our last dish. And it is done, guys. And here you have it, the two finished dishes from one cut of beef. Maximized our efforts in the kitchen and made two completely different dishes. So let's dig in. The beef is super tender. Mmm. Mmm. So good. I'm sorry, my mouth is so full. <laughs> mm, so good. Now let's try the fried rice. Mmm. Wonderful, super flavorful, tender. And she so spicy. And the herbs just bring in those pops that you need throughout. I love it. I feel full. <laughs> If you want to watch me and other great chefs make the most out of more incredible meals, please go to beefitswhatsfordinner.com. I'm writing a recipe right now, y'all. It's my training. <laughs> I am watching this. You rocking, and I'm going with you. <laughs> all of the qualities I had as an athlete, not my determination, my focus, all of that kind of helped me be the chef that I am today. Life is definitely better with good food.